Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review Magic Spoon Cereal. We are bringing breakfast back right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to review Magic Spoon Cereal. And I think I am appropriately dressed for this. Yes, you are. We're just getting home from church. Dr. Seuss theme going on at church. And after three services, I have Dr. Seuss hat head. So it's staying on. Sorry. Well, it falls right in line with kid cereals, right? Yeah. So we've actually had this for a little while and we just never got around to reviewing it because we've been in different challenges and we were going away and everything else going on. But I'm really excited about trying this. I cannot believe we have not had cereal since before keto. Yeah. And we actually got a box of it in our keto crate. Yeah. Didn't open that one either. Just figured that like it's if you have keto cereal, it's going to taste like styrofoam. Yes. So yeah. And then right here on the outside of the box, it actually says this is a high protein, keto friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, nothing artificial, childlike cereal for grown ups. And you're like, is it going to taste good? And on the other side, it says this is a healthy cereal. It doesn't taste like this box. And that's the challenge, right? Because when you're saying like all of these things it's free of, what is it free of flavor also? Like that's what I'm worried about. Now for me, growing up, we didn't get like kid cereals. We weren't allowed to eat tricks and Fruity Pebbles and all that. Like our extent was there was one called King Vitamin that we had and then Raisin Bran. Oh yeah, we ate a lot of Raisin The Bran. only time we got a sugar cereal was when we would get those, we would go camping and get those little individual boxes. <gasps> that was the best. Yeah, except for it came with like, you know, like one corn pops one frosted flakes one what was your something favorite else one? corn pops and then there was like rice krispies raisin bran special k you had to Those add just sugar sat. you had to add sugar to rice krispies to make it taste like anything yeah so yeah so i am really excited about this however i will be honest I don't super miss cereal, but you were a huge cereal person. I was a huge cereal person. And honestly, my favorite cereal was um, not Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but they used to have a Peanut Butter Toast Crunch. Oh, right. Look at this. I actually liked Captain Crunch growing up, too. Or Cut not growing up. When I became an adult and I was out on my own and I could actually eat kid cereals, that's when I started eating them. I felt like it always scraped the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Captain Crunch used to make great, like, chicken tenders. Instead of using breadcrumbs, I would use Captain Crunch. Nice. So, we, okay. We ate a lot of Frosted Flakes. So, we have four boxes of cereal here. You have, uh, this is Frosted Cereal. It's like a Frosted Cheerio. Fruity Cereal. Kind of reminds me of, like, Fruit Loops. Okay. Um, whoops. What is that one? Cinnamon, cinnamon cereal. cereal. I'm assuming it's kind of like a cinnamon toast crunch kind of cereal. I hope so. And then a cocoa cereal. Cocoa cereal. Maybe like cocoa puffs. Oh, I love cocoa puffs. Okay, so I do really like the packaging on these. These are these are cool. adorable, very whimsical. And they put we showed it in the keto crate, but they have like a little maze on the back. Kind of reminds you as a kid where you used to yeah. have to play the game or whatever. You either wanted the game to play on the back, and like whoever got it first won, right? Like either I got it or my brother got it. Or you it. wanted the prize that was in there, the which prize. I don't even think. I don't think they do that anymore. I don't think they do either. Okay, so let's take a, take a look at the nutrition, just glancing real quick. They look all about the same, so I'm going to grab this one right here, the fruity one. Okay. So there are seven servings in this container. A serving size is three quarters of a cup, 110 calories per serving, six grams of fat, five grams of saturated fat. There is 12 grams of protein in a serving. Eight total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber, which is going to bring it down to six carbs. But then there is three grams of allulose in it. Okay. So that brings it down to what? Uh, two net, uh, three net carbs per serving. And how big is a serving? So a serving is three quarters of a cup, which we actually have our scale. And we have a 
cup measure. So we'll measure out what a serving is because it is 28 grams. I don't think I've ever consumed an actual serving of cereal Yeah, three quarters of a cup is actually usually like the normal serving of even the ones that you see in the store. Like but I've Cheerios never eaten that much. Now is the first time where I have to be like conscious of like the size. So I figure what we'll do is we have a little bit of milkadamia over here. We'll do one with some milkadamia, and then the other ones we'll just kind of taste them okay. to see what they taste like. Which one do you want? Let's start off with tasting each flavor, and then we'll do one with milk to see I like, am so, how does it hold up to texture with milk. I've got to know what's going on inside this box where a cowboy is riding a dinosaur. Okay. That just seems Do you want to open awesome. that one first? We'll yeah. taste that one. I'm going to put so these off to the cinnamon. side. This is This is cute. So this is how much you're getting. And that's seven servings. Yeah, let's let's cut it because otherwise I'm gonna rip it. And I have a I have a knack for ripping open a bag and like sending cereal all over the place. Okay. So give you a few there. Ooh, they're nice and puffy. Let me smell it. Ooh, it smells like cinnamon toast crunch. It smells good. And they're they're puffier than Cheerios. Oh, I thought you were putting it in your oh, mouth. Oh sorry. That is a good flavor. It's not like Cheerios. It's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. It looks like a Cheerio. Yeah. Very puffy. I don't know if you can see. Is that good? Mmm. That's good. Very cinnamony. Very cinnamon. If you like cinnamon. That is good. Okay. Now, I will say that you get the flavor on the outside. Then, for a moment, it, you kind of get to the inside and it tastes a little plain. And then the flavor comes back again. It's a little... I don't know. I'm getting a little bit of a soapiness. Is it a little soapy flavored? No, but it could be because you haven't eaten anything all day, so. Mm, no. I'm not getting that. Maybe it's just a cinnamon. Let's go to the next one. Fruity. I'm trying to think of which one do I want with milk. Mm, cocoa. Yeah. yeah. Got to go cocoa with milk. Gotta the dog go is cocoa. like moving the table around, moving like my leg around. Okay. Aww. They're so pretty and pink. Reminds me of like Frankenberry. Yeah, Frankenberry. Boy, we ate a lot of that when the kids were little. That's because we used to go the day after Halloween and buy every box of it. Yep, because you get it super cheap. Ready? Let me smell it. it smells yeah. Smells just like smells, Fruit Loops. It smells like Fruit Loops. Wow. That tastes just like Fruit Loops. That is Fruit Loops. I forgot to go over the ingredients. Now, it may be all pink, but it tastes like Fruit Loops where... Did you know that all the Fruit Loops, like, they all actually have the same taste? I... Everybody thinks that color is, like, each one's different. Now, that just proved it because I'm tasting all of the Fruit Loops flavors. And I don't taste the soapiness. So, I think it was the cinnamon. It could just be the cinnamon, yep. So, let me... I forgot. We didn't go over the ingredients. Let's go over the ingredients. We'll just grab this one that, since it's in our hands. So the ingredients in this are a protein blend, which is milk protein isolate, whey protein isolate. Then there's coconut oil, tapioca flour, sweetener blend, which is allulose and monk fruit extract and a stevia extract, chicory root fiber, natural flavors, salt, and vegetable juice. So, this one has, obviously, an extra ingredient of cocoa powder. Yeah. And probably the cinnamon has got cinnamon in it. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise, just natural their base is the same throughout all of them. Okay, so. But good ingredients. Yep. Next one. Frosted, Frosted cereal. So that is a lady riding a rabbit. This is a That's wizard riding a bunny. And then you have, it looks like a hiker riding a gorilla. Okay. Trying to not cut a big hole. Ooh, that smells good. This frosted one smells like cotton candy. Like, it does smell a little bit like cotton candy. Very, um, yeah, like vanilla-y. Ready? Uh-huh. Wow. It kind of melts in your mouth. It does melt. What, what that is that like? flavor? It tastes like the It doesn't taste like Frosted Flakes. It, I was expecting it to taste like Frosted Flakes. It like you know what it tastes like? Do you remember those wafer um, cookies that, that are like in a rectangle shape, and it's like a wafer on the top, a wafer in the back, like a sandwich, nah, and then the middle is like, like vanilla. It, it reminds like me of a cereal, but I can't peg the cereal. 
I'm telling you, it's those vanilla cream wafer No, I, I lived on those things. Those little Pretty ones that are though. rectangle. Remember, we used to get them. They would go on clearance at oh, where do, oh, Aldi's used to put them on clearance, and we would buy like 50 of them. That's what it tastes like. Okay, so let's measure out a serving so we can see what a serving looks like in that. This is going to be hilarious because you know what my serving was pre-keto? Get a giant bowl. Yep, like a mixing bowl. Fill the bowl. And then fill it with milk. Okay, so we've got a bowl here, and this is a, a little bowl. This you know, is like a, a Chinese dipping sauce bowl. Dip, and it's definitely like, like a pro tip is get a smaller bowl. Don't bring in a mixing bowl, and then you won't feel like you're getting deprived, right? right? I mean, it's the same thing. If you're having trouble with like, hey, I need to eat more, you eat with your eyes yeah. before you eat with your brain and your mouth. So get a smaller plate and then load it up. And yeah. you'll feel like you're eating more, even though you're eating the same amount. Because if you get a cereal bowl, you're going to feel like you're not getting enough. But this is not a cereal bowl now, size. Now, I'm weighing this out because I want to see, like... it Will it overflow? Like, what is a three quarters of a cup? So this is a one cup measure. Or it's a, a quarter, quarter of a cup. This is a quarter cup measure. So that's nine grams. A serving size is 28 grams. Yeah. Make sure on the chocolate that it's still 28 grams. 28 grams. Because I want to see, like, how close to three quarters of a cup is it. If you're eyeing it. Okay, so that's another nine. So that's 18. Pick up all the pieces. I'm going to lose them. So we need another 10 grams, right? Nine and nine is 18. Yes. That's 11, so... I know. Perfect. We are being completely anal here. But you so want it actually piled three over the quarter. So yeah. look, if you if you don't measure it, you get gypped. So yeah, I was gonna say, which is weird, right? You would right. never believe that. So this is twenty eight grams. So that is three quarters of a cup. And again, using the right bowl makes a huge difference. Like that feels. The bowl like a, looks full. It's full. Now put that in a regular bowl. You're gonna be like, I'm getting gypped here. You yeah. want to put that back in the box? Ooh, it very much smells like Cocoa Pebbles, which was another fan favorite of mine. And I liked Flintstones. I honestly don't want to eat or this much. Do you want to put some of this back in the bag? Because are we? Are you going to eat this whole yeah, bowl? Yeah, we're going to eat it. I'm not, I wasn't going to eat this whole bowl. So. I got you. Okay, so we'll do an actual serving of this milk. Or Let's start it with a half. Yeah, it's saying that it should well, be... Does it say how much milk? It no, they say. wouldn't say that. Yeah. So that's a half a serving of milkadamia. Okay. Okay. It looks good. It's holding up. Should we put... I wanted to see what does it do to, like, does the cereal actually, like, get soggy? Yeah. So I'm trying to get it off the bottom. All oh, wait, the cereal, the turning milk's turning chocolatey. chocolatey. Okay, you want it? I'll take get one from the bottom. You want yeah, to get one from it. the bottom? Want to dink it? Dink. Very wow. crunchy. It does remind me of Cocoa Puffs. It reminds me of, flavor-wise, Cocoa Krispies. Yeah. Or even my better, the better one, Flintstones. It's Cocoa, the pebbles. Cocoa, Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles. That's it's what Cocoa it reminds pebbles. me. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like Cocoa Pebbles. So if you liked Cocoa Pebbles when you were a kid, that's what this tastes like. Now, I will say that I'm a little sad. At, I will try one more. One more. But it feels like the flavor is washing off the off the front end and then leaving you with plain plain crunchy O's. I feel like Cocoa Pebbles did the same thing though. That's why I used to drink the milk. Mm-hmm. And it's sad in there. I don't know. I find it I think that one is actually my favorite flavor. I mean, we didn't do the other ones with milk, but that's definitely to me my favorite flavor. I don't know. I like this the vanilla this one. You like that one? The frosted one was good. So, you want to put this through five things? Five things. Five things. So, if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, mm -hmm. does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Awesome. Okay, so, number one, the ingredients. The ingredients aren't bad. I mean, no. they do have your... Uh, 
infamous natural flavors. Natural flavors. Um, which, I mean, honestly, what is, isn't what natural. What is natural about frosted? There's nothing natural about natural flavors. It's all chemicals, but that's besides the point. Okay, so, I mean, protein blend. Now, it does. it is a milk protein isolate and a whey protein isolate. So, if you have some dairy issues, that may be an issue for you. Yep. Tapioca flour. I mean, the ingredients are okay. They're not the super, super cleanest in the world, but... But it's supposed to be like a sugary cereal. It's a sugary cereal that is really not that bad. It's protein powder with some coconut oil and some sweeteners and stuff in it. Yep. So, so ingredients aren't super bad. No. Uh, number two, does a keto base a nutrition label? 110 calories. Of uh, six grams of fat, twelve grams of protein. It is higher in protein. Just remember that. Mm-hmm. And you know, eight total carbohydrates, and it's three net carbs, which I think is pretty good. So yeah, yeah, for the bowl. I mean, that's a nice mm-hmm. serving. It's add nice. in like a good, like something like a milkadamia, something, and add in a little bit more fat for you. Mm-hmm. Maybe even like mix some milkadamia with some heavy cream. Ooh. Make it a little bit thicker. Now we're definitely talking. up the fat a little bit. So. Yeah. I would definitely, for me, I would probably eat this more instead of with milk. I would probably just eat it, like, measure out a serving and, like, snack on it, like pieces, like popcorn. I would definitely do that, or I would use it and and have, like, not a full serving size and use it as a topping for ice cream. You top everything on ice cream. I know, but I'm telling you, this would be good. But I'm just thinking, like, you go to, if you you measured out this whole bowl, a (laughs) serving, and to put that in a little baggie and went to the mall, into the movies. Yeah. And eight, actually one piece at a time, you kind of get the experience of eating popcorn, but it's a sweet popcorn. Yeah. You know? So that's how I would use it. So number three, how does it taste? I think it tastes pretty good. It definitely brings back like the memories of the kids sugar cereals. It brings back the memories. This is definitely like if you have kids that you're trying to like wean I'm off of do more. sugared cereal, this is a nice alternative so that they feel like they have cereal in the morning like every other kid in the neighborhood mm-hmm. and and yet you're not sending them to school with a bunch of sugar right in their in their system um for adults who are missing the cereal experience for me it just reminds me that this isn't quite it, it. it definitely reminds you of it's not quite but i think like you said for kids i think it's incredible and for a lot of adults too there are some adults like i know you were one of them you were a cereal junkie but i know yeah. that you're your cereal junkie, this was two servings. Exactly. So that may be a frustration also. Right. So to me, I think this is a better fit for a child that ha- didn't have like a sugary experience and you're just trying to have them to have like If cereal. you want to start weaning them off of the sugar cereals, to me, this is a great option for children. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. That maybe they don't want eggs and bacon for breakfast. Yep. So you want them to have breakfast, you know, they're going to be thinking they're having cereal. But I think for adults, I think you're just going to remember that what life used to be like. And I think that it's actually going to make you feel a little bit deprived, honestly, for me. So number four, how much does it cost? All right. Okay, so on cereal their website... Cereal is normally expensive. Cereal is normally expensive. You know, if you're not buying it on sale, I mean, we haven't bought cereal in a long time because even our kids... When we did buy it, we were buying it like Uber sales with coupons. Yeah. Like never paying more than like a dollar for a giant box or buying what was on clearance. Mm-hmm. But I know regular price is usually over $5, yeah. but it's a much bigger box. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this stuff on their website it is $39 for four boxes. This set is... Oh, so it's $10 a box. 10, it's basically $10 a box, and there was also a shipping cost. Now, we do not have a coupon, mm-hmm. uh, but I believe uh, Aaron over on High Fat High Fun has a free shipping coupon. Okay. I'm not quite sure. If I find it, I will leave it down in the description. Awesome. Um, we don't have any kind of coupon, but it is basically $10 a box. Wow. So, kind of expensive. Yeah. I'd have to really want cereal. Yep. But on the same note, I would say this. Is so there's seven servings in here. Mm-hmm. If you actually ate it like a serving, yeah, which would be 110 calories, and you're still getting, you know, what six grams of fat, and then you're adding in your milk. So, like, if you did a full serving of this, that's another 50 calories. Mm-hmm. So that's 160 calories. It's a small breakfast, but it's something maybe to just hey, I need to nosh on something for breakfast. Yeah, um, that works out to only be like what is that? Like a dollar and a quarter a serving. And if you're using it, like you're saying, to go to the movies or something and just having it like as a serving, then that's a snack that I'm really looking is. at strictly breakfast. Oh, dollar okay. twenty five for a serving. Not bad. Okay. 
if you're eating pasture-raised eggs, and I know you can't really compare nutrition-wise a serving of this to right. pasture-raised eggs, mm -hmm. two eggs is a dollar if you're eating pasture-raised eggs. So, and again, we're not affiliated with this, so we're not trying to sell it. No, nope. We're just trying to give you I'm just thinking ideas. like a cup of coffee, you know, going to a local gas station, a dollar, dollar fifty. So, dollar twenty-five, I mean, it seems like a lot of money because we're used to paying three, four dollars for a box of cereal. Right. And now you're paying $10 for a box of cereal. But it's the ingredients. But when you look at the ingredients and when you break it down per serving, may not be so bad. I mean, heck, I spend $2.50 to $3 on a bar. Yeah. So that is just something to consider. Yeah. So number five, would we recommend this? I think that if you really miss the cereal experience, I think it would be fun to just relive it but i think you're gonna walk away going this isn't as good as i remember it yep. and then i think you're gonna be frustrated for a kid who hasn't had a bunch of cereal and you're just trying to like let them have cereal i think this is a much better alternative to purchasing cereal at the grocery store also if you're maybe you're even onboarding toddlers that are going from that like you know you want them to go from whatever cereal that you've been feeding them and and transition into like kid age cereal again much better yeah. than like transitioning them from like a gerber graduate toddler situation to the regular sugar laden cereal that they would normally transition into in like preschool and kindergarten right for me if you go by the first four items of ingredients does it keto how much does it taste how much does it cost i would absolutely recommend it now would i buy it Probably not because I don't miss cereal. Yeah. I was never a huge cereal person to begin with mm -hmm. because I never found cereal satisfying for me. It was, I used cereal to satisfy my sweet tooth is yeah. what I would use cereal for. You never saw me going and buying Cheerios mm -hmm. or Rice Krispies or like you oatmeal. Right. Like if I was buying cereal, I was usually buying it for the kid. And then when I was having a sweet urging, I would just like you know, eat some of their cereal. But yeah. it was never a breakfast thing for me. It never did anything. So I wouldn't buy just because I don't miss cereal. Yeah. To me, if you miss cereal, if you really enjoyed cereal, you'd enjoy this. This is much it's better. It's not as good as, you know, what you ate prior to keto, but, but it, it's still pretty good. And I think it's a better plan than saying, I'm going to stay on my keto diet. And then when I want a bowl of cereal, I'm going to go outside of my diet. I think you're better off this. Hey, I Stick really want my cereal. And yeah. like, I'm willing to go off plan to have a bowl of cereal. No, buy this instead. And I think this would also make a nice option for a kid's snack for their lunch. If you just you know, this is a good size serving. Put it in a Ziploc bag, send it in their lunchbox. Much better, yeah. sweet alternative than sending them with some with a Quest bar, probably, yep. or um, sending them with like the normal. It'll definitely last longer, Oreos. especially if they're used to like eating like Cheerios. Like we all oh, put yeah. Cheerios in a little bowl for kids and stuff like that. Absolutely. Yeah. So I would I would say I wouldn't personally buy it, but I wouldn't not buy it because like. I don't think it's a good product. It's just not something that I would normally eat to begin with, mm -hmm. keto or not keto. Like Jerry Seinfeld was always seen on his show with like a bowl of cereal in his hand and like lots of boxes of cereal in his apartment. Yeah, so he's like, a cereal junkie. He's a cereal junkie. I was not a cereal junkie. Yeah. So that is our video. But I was thinking we have these four boxes. Mm -hmm. um, we have a box that came in our keto crate. You want to give it away? Yes, let's give it away. Why yeah. not? I mean, this, it'll take us forever to eat these. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Especially at eight carbs. And again, which I don't even think is Keep bad, but at to eight total carbs. I just want to see if it's holding up to the milk. Let me try another one. And then I'm going to let you do Then we got to drink the milk. And it's still, it's not like mush. It's not like no. a bowl of mush. I'm impressed. Because by this time, Frosted Flakes annihilated. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. That's a real test. Do you want to drink the milk? Yeah. That's pretty good. Very cocoa-y. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, we got this in our keto crate. It'll take us forever to go through these four boxes of cereal. Absolutely. So let's just give this one away. It came in the keto crate. This is the frosted cereal flavor. How are they going to get it? Uh, same way we always do all our giveaways. Um, so what you'll do is subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on this video, mm -hmm. leave a comment down below, 
Uh, you do have to live in the continental United States. All right. And some people have asked, can't you just ship it if we will, if I'm willing to pay for it? Unfortunately, um, the laws in like Canada, for example, are different than the United States as far as giveaways. So we just have to limit it to where we can legally do it and not have to worry about legal issues in other countries and stuff like that. Because I would love to just ship it anywhere. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we just have to be careful with that. So sorry. Um, so yeah, so leave a comment, any comment down below. And we will ship it out to you. So we'll go one week from today. Put the little. And we'll put, yeah, the date that we'll do the drawing down there. Okay? Awesome. Okay, so that is our video. Let us know down in the comment section, what was your favorite cereal when you were a kid? And also, if you can remember, what was the best prize you ever got inside of a box of cereal? That is way too long ago for me to remember. I can remember getting like a secret decoder ring and thinking that was like the coolest thing ever. I just remember my mom, because even some of the ones that we would get, like the Rice Krispies and stuff, would sometimes come with a prize. And I just remember my sister and I opening like every package to get the prize and then not eating the cereal. Yeah. Or dumping it out to find the prize. They knew you would like, maybe your favorite um, cereal would be like Frosted Flakes, but you'd be like, let me get Rice Krispies only for the prize. Yep. Like, I didn't want to eat that cereal. I just wanted that particular prize. They know. Well, that is our video for today. If you guys like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.